G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, take two with the um, sort of autumn-y colours, I guess. Again, with just this little canvas. The one that I did just before, hopefully you saw that video, is this little guy here. And I just felt he's a little bit too pale, a little bit too washed out. So I'm going to go again. Put him there for a minute. I went and made up my pancake mix. All my dry mix in this bowl, my wet mix in that bowl. Got everything ready and then when Christy gets up, I'll just put them together and then make her birthday pancakes. So it's still early. I mean, it's only 7.30 on a Sunday morning. I've just happened to be up for two hours already. <laughs> I get up early with my dogs. Um, so, yeah, everything's ready. Just waiting for her to wake up so I can cook her her birthday pancakes right oh uh, now I've taken out the burnt sienna and I've replaced it with the burnt umber so darker this time I took out the Japanese maple and I've replaced it with a plum so a little bit darker again there too so those are my colors and then I've got my Naples yellow that I make and just some white so get all those out of the way and this one has got my 6535 in it only because I thought, oh, gee, that blended a bit. So going back to 6535. Um, it really, depending on what technique you're using, it really depends on um, the pouring medium that you use. When I do the 6040, I'll, I do the sandwich pours because I like it to be really flowy and soft. Uh, but then when these, I want them a little bit brighter, I think I have to sort of thicken them up a little bit. So we'll see how we go with this. Spot on treadmill silicone. Let's do three drops in each, except for the white. The white's the opaque. It's really dense. It's really heavy. It wants to sink to the bottom. Um, and then I'm happy to let the other colours kind of float up to the top with the silicone oil in them when we heat them. And that's what's going to make our cells. Give it a really, really good stir. Otherwise, you'll get big blobs of silicone in your paint, in your, in your work, I should say. So the amount of stirring your silicone is not dependent on the size of your cells. It is if you don't stir them at all, yes, you're going to get big blobs, but they won't be cells. They'll just be big blobs of silicone oil. So that's them there. I've changed up the order a little bit, only because I don't want this um, plum next to the white. I think I had it like that last time, but I don't want the plum next to the white, so... Let's do that. And I'm going to see if I can get three layers in. I actually can't remember what I did last time. You guys probably know because you watched the video, but I can't remember. So I'm going to try for three layers and see how we go with that. So a little bit thicker with the mix. Hopefully I'll get a brighter result and not so muted colours. I've been doing a lot of sandwich pours lately and I've just been using the 60-40 mix but I think to get the brighter colors we'll need to go with thicker pouring medium otherwise the colors just all blend in together and they tend to get a little bit muddy if your mix is too thin so if, if that's happening to you if your mix is getting really um, if your pour is getting really muddy it's most likely because your mix is too thin a little bit more white I might even be able to go for four here. I'm being very liberal with my layering. Liberal? Mm. Restrained? <laughs> One or the other. Oh, look at this. Look at me. I'm going for four layers. Woohoo! <laughs> Must have done three on the last one, didn't I? If your layers are too small, your colours blend really easily. But then if your layers are too thick, you get big blocks of colour. So, you know, of one colour. So you just got to be careful. Try and layer gently. I'll save a little bit of that for maybe on top because it's quite strong. The brown.
Oh, that's why I've got more brown because I had to add more pouring medium. Um, I'm using the Montmartre Burnt Umber and I just mixed it up 40 grams pouring medium, 40 grams of paint, and then it was really thick, same as the global brown was. It's just some colours like browns and reds, oranges, they tend to be really quite thick. I think it must just be the pigment. So then I had to add more pouring medium. So that's why I've got a little bit extra, I think. Not a lot extra, I just gave it a little splash just to thin it out a touch. And finish with a little bit of plum plum. Gorgeous colour this one. I make this one myself. I wish Mark Mart would let us have all the colours in Australia. I don't think it's very fair that an Australian company gives all the colours overseas, like 20 colours, and here in Australia we get like eight colours. How unfair is that, hey? From an Australian company. Don't even support us Australians. Send all our colours overseas. Their factory is in China, so I guess it's cheaper for them to just disperse the all the colours around the place, but really, Montmartre, you need to support the Aussies if you're an Aussie company. Bring us all the colours, please. Everyone, all the Aussies, can you please email Montmartre? <laughs> Ring them, get on to them, get them to give us all the colours. We want all the colours. We want the gold and the silver and all the purples and the violets and the pinks. And We've just got, we've got very basic colours. One blue, one green, a yellow, a red, black and a white, a turquoise. We don't get all the other colours. It's which we want. So come on, Aussies, get on board. Let's contact Montmartre and get them organised to give us all the paints. All right, let's... Do this, flip it over. I'll just go up there to save that little bit of paint. Okay, well that's looking brighter already. Um, I might get a corner catcher. I'll let that corner go over because it's got a stripe in it. But I think I might get my little corner catchers. You do get a better result. And when you're doing this though, if you want to use your corner catcher, don't put um, more paint on there because all you're doing is catching it and pushing it back. So you're keeping that, see that stripey look there? If I put a corner catcher there, I'd just be keeping that stripe. But if I do this and catch that paint into the corner there, see I get a really pretty little corner because I'm not keeping the stripe. Does that make sense to you all? Keep your corners, keep the, as much paint on the surface as you can at the moment until after we've torched. I'll hang on to the foot down here now. It's still going a little bit muddy, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Plum and brown, like, you know, <laughs> of course it's going to go muddy. Brown's mud. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Let's see what happens now. This, I'm going to take that over the corner like so whoops nearly dropped it all right so that is covered doesn't look very attractive does it but let's hope that magic will happen when we torch and the cells pop up hey come on magic let's see the magic very very gently you can go over and over and over just if you need to but just go very very gently to begin with because it takes a few seconds for the cells to come up so you torch and nothing happens and then you torch again and then it takes a few seconds for the cells to come up and then you've over torched so just go slow you can always go back oh those are pretty I like this section here where it's brighter. I did over torch a little bit. I'm telling you not to, and I did over here. Oh dear. 
because it just takes a while, you know, for the oil to come up. So you torch and nothing happens, but in the meantime, the oil's slowly coming up. So give it a chance to come up. Don't just torch and torch and torch. Just wait. All right, now I'm going to have to get some of this off because it's a little bit too much. And it's a bit muddy over here. I like the yellow, so we'll go off down here. And I love all that, so we'll keep that. So let's just do some zigging and zagging. And get some of the paint to go. Get rid of that little blob just there. Off he goes. Thanks for coming. Where else do we want to go? See, I could leave it like that, but the cells I think are too small still. So I need to just move them around a little bit more. Don't I want? I guess I'll go over this corner here a little bit. Come back. So just wiggle it as you're coming back just wriggle it so that all the cells can grow okay don't just keep it in one spot uh, go in one direction go in a few different directions so plenty of paint to work with make sure that you've got lots of paint so that you can move your, your paint around hey don't say oh that's about all Work out what you need, add a little bit more, just to be on the safe side, so that you can um, move your painting, move, move your cells around after you've, you've um, torched. So there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. I've got more definition of the cells, and I've got a better definition of the colour. It's not so muted. I do like it better with the dark brown and the dark... Um, Plum, so I think that's better. Fix up the corner. I'll show you the other one in a minute. A little bit of muddiness happening over here. And of course, mixing brown and plum together, you are going to get a little bit of mud, aren't you? Because brown is mud. Okay, um, but I think that's pretty much it. I'll just leave it like that. I'm happy with that one. over my little edges again catch my drips so I'm going to take this and I put it over there on the shelf so I don't want it dripping on the shelf just move that out of the way I'll bring them both down next to each other so that you can compare hey compare the pair like that yellow strip there so I've got yellow on this side and then it's more of a mauve on that side hmm Okay, that's um, it's worked well. It's not a lot of difference, you know, between the, the 65 35 and the 60 40. That's not a huge difference, but sometimes it's just enough to make your colors a little bit more vibrant and stop the, the muddying. Um, but yeah, with the sandwich pour, I do prefer the 60 40 just because we need to move everything so much more. All right, so let's move that there. Where will I put you? I'll just put you there. And then I'll put you there. Okay, so that's the two. So this one was the lighter brown and the lighter mauve. And this was the darker brown with the darker mauve. And this was slightly thicker mix. So the colours haven't blended as much on this one. So I really, really like that one. This one's still pretty as well. But I just wanted more of the yellow to come through. So yeah, really happy with that one. Let me get the gloves off, take it down for a close-up, and then I'm going to see if Christy's awake. Make some pancakes. I can't get my gloves off. <laughs> That's too slippery. I'm trying to, I've got those ones off. I'm trying to get this, but it keeps slipping because my, no, I can't do it. It's slipping. <laughs> All right, I'll just have to take it off. Ah. Uh... Fun and games. Struggling with gloves, hey? It's the least of our worries. There we go. Is that enough? Do I need to go down on the down to the canvas or are you good looking at it from here? Hmm. So hopefully you can see the difference. 
much more bright on the, the one on the left. I will take you down for a close up. Why not? Why not? Only 15 minutes. Plenty of time. Go around here. Really, really pretty cells. getting my colours correct. I look at the canvas and look at the screen and make sure that they are the same. Otherwise it can be a little bit of a different colour if it's a bit bright. Love those cells. Oh my gosh, some of them have got the white rings around them. Some of them have got the yellow rings around them. I guess it's a little bit on the busy side, but it's only a little canvas. Cells are nice and separate. Not too many bumping into each other. I do like it when they've got space next to them. That's really pretty there. The duck, the plum against the, the yellow. Look at these. Look at those over there. Aren't those just to die for? Gorgeous, gorgeous cells. Okay, so that's that one. And then uh, you've seen that one. So there they go. There you go. Happy with those. They make a nice little twin set. Cheap to post if anybody wants them. <laughs> Let me know. Post them out. All right. Thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to go make some pancakes. Buttermilk pancakes with maple syrup. Yum. Um, oh, that's a bit dark. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.